in order to purge the water system you can do that easily by bringing the garden hose up to the garden hose hookup and let the hot water tank fill and make sure the hot water tank is completely full and to find that out you go on the uh, check valve when the what the tank is full you open this up and when the water comes out that means your hot water tank is full now in order to purge the system then you go over here on the rest of the lines open up the hot water make sure there's no air in the line open up the cold water make sure there's no air in the line do the same thing on the on this uh, faucet open up the hot make sure there's no air open up the cold make sure there's no air now you can run the whole system by just a garden hose now to run it off the holding tank you take the garden hose and you stick it into this hole right here that fills the holding tank underneath the floor and in order to know if you have enough water in there is come in here and that clear hose when the water comes up on that clear hose where you can see it now the, the holding tank is full of water okay then you can plug in the demand pump underneath and the hot water either you plug in the demand pump and the hot water either now now it will run off of the holding tank and the main pump will come on. In order to prove that, you need to have the, uh, the garden hose disconnected from the area where we ran it. As long as the garden, as long as you're running on the garden hose, make sure that the demand pump is not plugged in. Around it, it's plugged in. It's only to plugged in when you're running off of the uh, holding tank on the bottom. Now, and the demand pump and the holding uh, and the hot water heater on one switch. So you have to have that on once you get everything, once you get the air out of the line. So that's about it.